I'm Don Wall. This is my wife, Karen Wall. We're here from the West Mountain. We're West Mountain residents representing McNabb as a valuable part of our uh, community. My husband and I welcome the opportunity to speak in support of Surround McNabb Secondary School. As my husband said, we are West Mountain residents who have sent two children through the public school system. Our daughter is now 22 years old and graduating from McGill this spring with a Bachelor of Science in Combined Honors Math and English degree. Our son Chuck is now 18 years old and a first year social sciences student at Western University and on the Western football team. Both kids attended Holbrook and Shadok Elementary Schools and went to Surround McNabb for high school. Our children had excellent experiences at McNabb with lots of successes in math contests, the school band, winning football championships, making strong friendships, and receiving excellent mentoring from teachers and coaches with whom they maintain contact to this day. But I'm not here out of sentimental or nostalgic reasons, but rather on principle and to show support for our West Mountain community. We firmly believe in the principle that our community needs around McNabb Secondary School to keep being successful and that simply put, you should keep a good thing going. Speaking as West Mountain residents and community volunteers, we think when you have a successful institution in your community, it should be allowed to continue fulfilling its essential role in community building. The West Mountain community that feeds Surround McNabb is very diverse, with all socioeconomic levels represented and lots of new Canadians. When Emily was deciding on which high school to attend back in 2003, we considered West Mount briefly with its self-paced learning program because she was an excellent grade straight A student. We wondered whether she would prosper at the local high school, which back in 2003 did not have the greatest reputation. We heard about suspensions and schoolyard fights and so on. But we believed strongly in supporting the local high school, in the public school experience, in participating and in building what we have in our local community. We told her she should go to McNabb because it was in our neighborhood and it would be better for her to develop friendships with the people and teachers in her, in her own community. We assured her that she could thrive at her local high school. The diversity of McNabb was thought by us to be an asset. Attend classes with students from all nations of the world, all religions and all levels of academic accomplishment. Shoulder to shoulder with neighbors to achieve success together. Learning inclusiveness and broadening your worldview. I mentioned that McNabb had a substandard reputation almost a decade ago. From 2003 when Emily started through to 2011 when Chuck graduated and continuing this school year, McNabb has enjoyed a tremendous turnaround in just about every way measurable. Today when you think of Surround McNabb, you think of excellence, a winning tradition, a superlative achievement in all areas including academics. It started off a few years ago when the school administration sought to establish a culture of success. One of the most direct ways to do that was through sports success because it gets publicity. You read about McNabb winning athletic championships and it becomes a destination for students and teachers who want to be associated with a winning attitude. McNabb established special sports programs and ac academies in several sports including football and basketball and it soon became a destination for students across the city who wanted to excel and train under the excellent teachers and coaches such as Ron Lancaster Jr. and Dwayne Washington, to name a few. This was done. McNabb has since won 14 city championships and that builds pride throughout the community. As you see people walking around wearing McNabb championship jackets, you see McNabb students in the newspaper and on the local TV station. So McNabb has become a school of champions and that attracts people of high character and dedication and keeps good people in our community. The next steps, complementing the sporting successes, was to establish more unique programs that meet the needs of the community in other ways. I will name three programs that have made McNabb a destination school for other reasons. The Advanced Placement Program is designed for gifted students who want to go on to university and it clearly is working as devised. Last year, 40% of students had an average of 80% or higher. Hamilton Magazine recently called Surround McNabb the most improved school in the city. Among the new batch of grade nines, 
Three quarters are in the academic stream and 25% are gifted. Math results on a graph are off the charts and literacy rates are superb. You may have read in the newspaper that nine McNabb students finished in the top 100 in the National Maple Leaf Math Challenge as the school placed third at a national level. Sorrell McNabb's ranking in EQAO results is very high and last year the school received the Provincial Betty Stevenson Award as one of the most improved schools in the province. The Fraser Institute also commended McNabb's overall improvement. A tremendous number of McNabb grads are university bound as statistics show. So McNabb's athletic excellence is now accompanied by a tremendous academic success. It's all been documented. Then there is the collaborative teaching program that assists students who are not high achievers when they enter high school. <coughs> the CT program sees two teachers working with a class of 20 students providing the extra attention they need to improve. McNabb's CT program has become a model for other schools to follow where children need special academic attention. Another program, the East Meets West, offers insights into religion and culture from a Muslim perspective. I mentioned that as parents, we sent our children to the local school in part to support the local institution and community and to take part in the diverse Canadian experience. We have, made, we have ample evidence of how that works successfully. Our son took political science in grade 11, where every day he worked with a student from the Middle East as a partner, and every day they debated the Israel-Palestine question. He would come home nightly and say, my partner says this about Palestinians and Syrians, and so we could discuss the issues from an Israeli point of view, and he would go back with further ideas the next day. After two weeks, the two boys had gained a much greater understanding of this important world issue and respect for other points of view as well as for each other. That is an example of the value of having an enlightened public school that supports inclusion of all neighborhood children through programs such as East Meets West. Chuck's best friends became kids named Manish and Karem, and in fact he continues to pursue his interest in international studies at Western. All the data I have seen supports McNabb as a success story in the Hamilton-Wentworth District School Board. Teachers see McNabb as a teaching environment that lets them be the best they can be as professionals. And the same is true for parents of elementary school students looking for the best place for their children to achieve their potential. The proof is in the latest enrollment statistics. McNabb is projected to have approximately 950 students in the next school year, continuing a recent upward trend that reflects how the school has become a magnet because of its achievements in all areas. As I say, in many measurable ways, Sir Ellen McNabb is first class. A community that supports its children in our midst is a better functioning community. This is especially true on the West Mountain, where we have this excellent institution, Sir Ellen McNabb Secondary School, that is functioning at such a high level and on so many fronts. In summary, we ask the trustees to make a decision that allows us all to continue the job of community building that we take so seriously with Sir Al McNabb playing a key role in the community structure on the West Mountain. McNabb has seen tremendous improvement over the last decade, and we believe it's very important to keep this good thing going. Thank you. Well, thank you, some very uh, thoughtful thoughts. Thoughtful thoughts? <laughs> thoughtful thoughts. Some questions for clarification from the trustees? Seeing none, you made your point well. Thank, Thank you very you. kindly. Appreciate you coming down tonight. Move on to item 12, our last present. Oh, sorry, got to move to receive it. <laughs> Trustee Hicks moved to receive, second by Trustee Johnstone. All in favor of receiving the presentation? Thank you very much. That is unanimous.